Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. In this video, we are going to work on two different materials in Inkscape 3.5 and I am so excited that I can finally have Inkscape in this version of Revit. So let's just get started. First, let me show you how you can download these textures. Just go to Ambient CG and all categories. You can find different types of categories here. For this tutorial, I have used concrete for my wall. Just scroll down a little bit and you can find it here. Concrete number 4. And for our floor, I have used marble which you can find here. It's this one and you can just download it in different formats and sizes. Now let's start with our wall. Select your wall and go to edit type, select edit go to in material part just click on this little one here create new material change its name let's say wall now you can also create your material in inkscape but i feel like we have more options here now the first thing we need to do is to load our image here our diffuse or our color texture so after you download your texture you can have these different textures here each one of them can do different things as you can see we have ao texture we have color this is the one that is a bit lighter i changed it in my photoshop uh, you can also create it if you want this is for displacement we have two different normal one and this is for our roughness select your color and open it now if you want to work on this you can simply go to manage and setting find your material here and work on it i think this is easier as you can see our material is a small here now first let's just make it a bit larger go with two okay apply this looks good and you can either work on this like this or you can just rotate it 90 degrees if you want to rotate you can either play with this or you can just enter the number here okay apply now we can't see that much of highlight or bump in concrete materials and also we can't have reflection or glossiness in them but if you want to have reflect you can just check this or uh, you can either play with these two or you can control your reflect with giving them images so you can use roughness for controlling your reflection select it you need to repeat all of the changes that you did in color part so rotate it 90 degrees and get size larger done and apply well we can't see it but it is there let's move a bit closer we can't see any reflection but let's keep it this way the next part that we need to add texture is bump however this also will be so little and we might don't even notice it but it's good to add them because these changes make your material realistic you can choose between these two normal maps or you can just use displacement let's go with displacement repeat the changes and okay apply again we can't see anything here and this is too much probably yeah so i think this is good right if you don't like this you can just invert your image and let's see what will happen this is better actually go to this this looks good for me but let's just try the lighter texture here click on this little one and select your texture open it done this is also good it, it makes our render warmer a bit but it can change it in post-production okay cool now let's work on our floor select your floor and go to edit type go to edit and click on material part create new material change its name apply in generic section click on your image go find your material the one that i showed you earlier has these types of textures here we have our color displacement two type of normal bomb 
we have opacity here which i don't know why we need to use opacity for marble or maybe we need to use that yes and our roughness click on color and let's just check how it looks this is our floor here let's go closer okay this is our texture with nothing else this is only our color texture this is also a small and you can see these lines here let's just make it a bit larger go to texture and just change your size from here let's go with two done apply this looks good but let's go with 1.5 okay done this is good unlike concrete the most important thing for marble is its reflection and we need lots of reflection here so check this box for your reflection you can either use your roughness texture in this part for this direct or for this glossiness here you can see how it makes difference here you can control it with these numbers or you can just use your roughness texture for it just don't forget to repeat all of the changes okay apply and we lost our reflect let's invert this map it looks good but i think it's better not to use image here let's go with the slider use the highest amount now it looks good but unrealistic let's lower this a bit down it's much better as you know marble don't have any bump or texture but we can active our bump to have like fingerprint or add just dirtiness or just make it a bit realistic of course we are going to use its own texture but it's good idea to just use other textures for now let's go with this apply this is the bump that we got here and it's too much it is also because we changed the size of this material well i don't think this looks good on this material so let's just forget about bump and just continue with this and okay right it's good just remember when it comes to rendering you need to work on your lighting your render setting and your material all together take your time and work on them as long as you are okay with them first you might don't get the look that you are looking for but if you spend more time working on them on your material on your lighting and your render setting you can get what you want yes that's it i hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial if you have any questions or comments don't forget to leave them in comment section below see you soon